honey, it turns out, is not just for sweetening your tea. This may come as a, as a surprise to connoisseurs of the bee's nectar, but there's something called medical-grade honey, and it's been found to be effective in treating non-healing wounds, especially among diabetics. NJN News Health and Medical Correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. John Wyman, who's diabetic, has been battling a non-healing foot wound for years without much success. But now, medical staff at the Hunterdon Wound Healing Center in Flemington, where Wyman has sought treatment, have a new weapon in their arsenal, medical honey. They say it speeds up the healing process. Definitely with Mary Honey, we have seen uh, especially stalled wounds um, heal faster uh, at least a couple of weeks. John Ryman is a believer. It's speeded the, health, the healing up greatly. Medical honey isn't new. The Egyptians used it to treat wounds 4,000 years ago, but it's been rediscovered and repackaged by a Princeton-based biotech company called Dermasciences. They claim it's something special. Leptospermum honey, it's derived from the nectar and pollen from a plant found in New Zealand and Australia. This diabetic foot ulcer is well on its way to closing after eight weeks of treatment with medical honey. It does have the antibacterial properties which decreases the bacteria and the other advantage with Medi Honey is uh, the bacteria uses the glucose from the honey. Because the glucose is used, it reduces the odor from the wound. Wound experts here use the honey along with hyperbaric oxygen treatments. The two approaches seem to complement one another. The goal is to reduce complications. The most worrisome? Amputation. Diabetics undergo nearly a million each year. We do reduce a lot of complications, especially amputations, um, uh, you know, which were happening quite frequently with chronic wounds. The hope is that wound products and techniques like this will reduce the risk. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Flemington.